Hey guys, uh, I am Kelsey Johnson and I am starting my second semester in the MFA program here at Mankato. Um, some few things about why I chose the MFA program. Um, I am passionate about speech activities and I firmly believe that every single student deserves access to quality forensics programs. Um, my life has always followed a path of four main things, public speaking, performance, leadership, and mentorship. Uh, first with public speaking, I joined speech in the eighth grade and I focused on speech to entertain, which in Minnesota would be equivalent to after dinner speaking. And I dabbled in some interps and limited prep events but I knew that the public address events were where my passion was at and where my talent was at. Um, I loved the energy at tournaments. I couldn't get enough of the attention that I got as a speaker. And I, quite frankly, loved making people laugh at me or with me. As long as people were laughing, I was having a good time. Um, this also goes in hand in hand with my love of performance. Um, I have always loved performing and being on stage and being in uh, speaking rounds. And I followed that passion to Washington State University, go Cougs. Um, and I earned my BA in theater arts and drama in July, 2007. And my whole goal was to become the next Chris Farley on Saturday Night Live. However, it took one directing class for me to realize that I loved the power of creativity and leadership and basically having the vision of the entire show and getting to share that vision with all of the other creative artists involved in the theater production. So this goes hand in hand with my uh, passion for leadership. I have always been actively involved in leadership positions throughout high school uh, with FFA, student council, class president, uh, things like that. And these skills or being involved in these activities uh, really honed my communication and collaboration skills. It improved my negotiating and compromising skills. And it just made me a better, well-rounded person, which now leads into today where I am seeking out uh, leadership roles statewide in North Dakota for not only English, but also speech. Um, I serve as the president-elect of the North Dakota Council of Teachers of English. Um, I do a lot of presentations and things like that for the C-Stand organization, Communication Speech Theater Association of North Dakota. You guys have a similar uh, organization in Minnesota as well. And I am also a district committee member of the North Dakota Rough Rider District for the National Speech and Debate Association. And all of this has really um, helped me realize my passion for mentorship. Um, and within the past several years of coaching, I started to focus more on mentor the, the mentoring aspect of coaching. I've realized that my speech team is pretty awesome. And I've laid a solid foundation over the past uh, several years with my assistant coaches and me, where I'm now at a place in my coaching career where I can start to focus more on using my knowledge as a coach to help build up other programs around my area and, or, and around the state. Um, I have, in the past, I have started or revived very dead teams um, at three separate schools. So I have a skill set in um, team recruitment, advocacy, and all of that stuff that helps make a program not only viable, but also thriving into the future. And my passion now is making sure that speech is accessible to others, especially in rural areas uh, where we are lacking coaches and the knowledge that a coach needs. So I want to use my platform as a leader to engage others to make speech and debate activities thrive in the state because I firmly believe that greatness breeds greatness. And as I tell other coaches, 
crap against crap is still crap. So I would much rather help build up other programs which make their kids more competitive, which ultimately makes my own kids more competitive. So here I am at Mankato. Um, speech has always been a driving force in my life. It took me two undergraduate degrees. I have a degree in theater from Washington State. I have a degree in English education from North Dakota State. And after those two degrees and about 11 years of adulting, um, I finally just had to accept and realize that speech is my sanctuary, no matter where life took me, whether it was Washington, Minnesota, or North Dakota, everything always came back to speech coaching. After graduating with my theater degree, I applied to three grad school programs for directing. And as Garth Brooks tells us, sometimes the greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. So I put off grad school after three rejections. And now here I am in my eighth year of teaching high school English. Uh, I'm at my second school teaching. I used to teach in a very rural school in North Dakota. And now I am teaching at West Fargo High School. And I am in my 10th year as a head speech coach. And I have done two years of head student congress coaching as well. So after a few years in the classroom, I knew I wanted a master's um, not only for a pay raise, but also as an opportunity to leave secondary education if I wanted. And so I knew that I needed a master's in communications. And I wanted to get out of English education and back to my passion of performance and public speaking, which meant I needed a master's in comm. And luckily I found the MFA program at Mankato. Um, I knew I wanted communications, but Google surprised me with the option to get a master's in communication that focused on forensics. So I was hooked by speech again, and it all comes full circle. So here I am. I'm excited to learn from you guys in the class and from Katie as the professor and really not only make myself a better coach, but make my team better and also be able to be a better mentor and leader for others statewide as well. So awesome. Thanks for uh, listening to me and I'm excited to get this semester going.